Hi guys, welcome to number X. In this lecture, we are going to find cube root of iota, which is complex number. So let us start. Iota can be written as cosine pi by 2 plus iota sine pi by 2. Because value of cosine pi by 2 is equal to 0 and value of sine pi by 2 is equal to 1. We can write iota in general form as cosine 2k pi plus pi by 2 plus iota sin 2k pi plus pi by 2 for k is equal to 0, 1 and 2 because value of iota will remain same at k is equal to 0 and 3. So, we will take only these three values. So, this expression can be written as cosine 4k pi plus pi whole divided by 2 plus iota sin 4k pi plus pi whole divided by 2. We can rewrite this expression as cosine 4k plus 1 times pi by 2 plus iota times sine 4k plus 1 times pi by 2. This implies iota to the one third is equal to cosine 4k plus 1 times pi over 6 plus iota times sine 4k plus 1 times pi over 6 by using Euler's identity which is cosine theta plus iota sine theta to the nth power is equal to cosine n theta plus iota sine n theta. When k is equal to 0, it will give one of the cube root of iota. So, we will put k is equal to 0 in this equation and we get iota to the one third is equal to cosine pi by 6 plus iota sine pi by 6. And we already know that cosine pi by 6 is equal to square root 3 over 2. Value of sine pi by 6 is equal to half. So, this is one of the cube root of iota. For k is equal to 1, it will give us another value of cube root of iota. So, iota to the 1 third is equal to cosine 5 pi over 6 plus iota sine 5 pi over 6. We can write 5 pi over 6 as pi minus pi over 6 and it will give us negative cosine pi by 6 plus iota sine pi by 6. Again we will put the value of cosine pi by 6 and sine pi by 6 to get cube root of iota to the one third. Now we will put k is equal to 2 to get the last cube root of iota. For this we will put k is equal to 2 in this equation and we get iota to the one third is equal to cosine 9 pi over 6 plus iota sine 9 pi over 6. Here 3 is common factor, so we will cancel it and we get cosine 3 pi over 2 plus iota sine 3 pi over 2. We can write 3 pi over 2 as pi plus pi by 2 and from here we will get cosine pi plus pi by 2 is equal to negative cosine pi by 2 and sine pi plus pi by 2 is equal to negative sine pi by 2. Again, cosine pi by 2 is equal to 0 and sine pi by 2 is equal to 1. So, we can write 0 minus iota which will finally give us negative iota. So, cube root of the complex number iota is equal to root 3 by 2 plus iota times half. Second is negative square root 3 by 2 plus iota times half and negative iota. We can represent these complex numbers geometrically on unit circle of radius 1. Here Z1 is equal to negative iota. Z2 is equal to root 3 by 2 plus iota by 2 and Z3 is equal to negative root 3 by 2 plus iota over 2. Thanks for watching. Till then, goodbye.